Hello and welcome back to GBoss Gaming. Today we are playing some Project Cars uh, and hopefully it works for me because I've been trying to figure this thing out for a solid 45 minutes. This is your chance to um, follow in the footsteps of your favorite And I have racing. had no luck so far. Uh, so we are going to not do this apparently because that doesn't work. We're going to go to a solo. Uh, and not a career mode, because that wasn't working. Um, we wouldn't, we're Australian, so we're going to go to Bathurst. Bathurst is an Australian track. Uh, people will probably recognise that watching this channel. Uh, let's see if there's any Bathurst cars in the game. I know there's no Holdens. Um, there we go, there's a V8 supercar, perfect! That's exactly what we want, Bathurst V8 supercar, perfect. Uh, so yeah, sorry that there's no sound on the menu screen, uh, copyright issues, so I can't have the music playing. Um, but yeah, sorry I haven't posted in a few weeks as well. Green, green, green. Hopefully the, um, the sound is okay. Oh, hang on, excuse me. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, we've lost it out the corner. Oh, dear. Someone's tail tapped me and I've lost it. All right. Well, we're going to be starting back a long way. I'm not a big fan of these uh, side things next to my head either. Or the fact that the windscreen... Oh, gosh, this is horrible to steer. I've just come from driving the, um, the Formula Ones. And now trying to steer this thing is absolutely... Awful. All right. This is not a very exciting, so graceful start. No, we're restarting because I physically cannot get out of the mud without the car spinning out. Green, green, green. So it takes two of driving at Bathurst. out for old mate cutting corners. There we go. We got around it this time. Now we've moved up a few spots. What are we? Fourth. So anyway, if you've never played a racing car game in VR, you are missing out. Oh dear. Like if you've ever played Mario Kart on the Wii, the steering is similar to that, except I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller. Oh, that lens. What's called that sun is very bright in my eyes. Um, I'm using a PS4 controller and trying to steer it like a Wii remote. And I can assure you, the lack of or over sensitivity. Oh, no, we're buggered again. Um, the lack of over sensitivity of the controller makes it very hard to steer sometimes. And as a result, we get things like this. Especially when people run into me while I'm trying to do a 30 point turn. We were doing so well. Alright, let's try this again. Around the corner we go. Oh dear. Yes, it's very difficult to steer sometimes. With the PlayStation controller. But anyway. Um, as I was saying earlier, apologies for the lack of videos the last couple of weeks. Uh, I went to record some of the next episode of my City Skyline series and turns out that my save file was corrupted so I had lost everything that I had been working on so far which was very disappointing and then I got grumpy as a result so I just didn't want to do a lot of video making after I lost all that effort. So yeah, today we're playing some Project Cars and that spent a lot of effort me trying to get this sound going. Um, and I'm sorry if the sound balance of in-game and me talking is not fantastic. I, like I said, I spent 45 minutes already playing around with this. This is as close as I could get without really fiddling around with it too much. So here we are as we're catching up to 20th or 19th position. We're 20th. Oh, I took that corner too fast. And we're stuck again. Alright, off we go. Uh, but it's like, it's quite surreal. 
uh, the realism in, in this game. It's just something else. Just like actually being in the cars and seeing what the drivers see. It's actually very trippy, old mate changing the gear stick all the time. Uh, because, you know, I'm seeing that and it's like, whoa, my hands are moving, but then my hands are not really moving off the controller, which I'm using as the steering wheel. It's actually really hard to look around the, um, the cabin of the car as well. Because as soon as you do, you start drifting off sideways on the steering wheel, and it's just all over for you as soon as that happens. Just like it's all over when I get this bright sunlight in my eyes trying to go up a hill. Which I guess is the realism. Uh, you know, if you're playing this on a, on a PlayStation or an Xbox or on your computer, you really don't oh, notice that lens flare. These corners are really bugging me out. But yeah, in VR you really get that lens flare, you get that bright light, just like driving a real car and you look into the sun. We were doing so well catching up. But, oh well. This is not making me look like a good driver, me playing this game. Uh, but I can assure you, it's very difficult to handle. And also just the fact that I'm not good at racing games in the first place. got around this segment reasonably well compared to how I've been doing it before. I stuck to the racing line, I've decelerated and accelerated at good times. And I'm still 30 seconds behind everyone else. But 21 seconds faster than my last lap, so that's always nice. Going over these red lines really throws out your steering. Because it handles very accurately, it's what a real car would. Oh, I was doing so well up until that last corner. Come on, come on, let's finish the race. Finish the race in last position. A solid 10 seconds behind everyone else. Right, not the best of starts, um, but you know, it is what it is. All right, let's go somewhere else this time. Uh, let's change it from Bathurst. California Highway, that sounds like it might be fun. Let's do this, oh, actually 68 turns. No, maybe we won't do that. <laughs> 15 turns, there we go, that's much better. And let's get into a stock car. Oh my gosh, that thing's gonna handle poorly. Uh, formula, let's see if we can get a Formula One. There we go, a Formula One car. Fantastic. Imagine that, just going along your highway on a and you commute to work and all of a sudden, <laughs> this convoy of Formula One cars come flying past you at 300 k's an hour. That'd be a sight. Oh dear. Okay, I have spawned halfway in the guy's body. Um, oh, this is very uncomfortable. Oh, someone's tapped me. Oh, no, nah, we're restarting. That was rude. And also I have to adjust my virtual reality because my head should not be there. Uh, restart session. Right, hopefully no one runs into me this time, and someone's run into me again. Uh, it's so frustrating. All right, I'm gonna have to accelerate a bit better. All right, no one ran into me. No one ran into me. No one ran into me. Someone ran into me, didn't they? It doesn't take much, but it's very hard to fix it.
Alright, there we go. I only had a small collision that time, so I could actually get a decent start. Oh gosh, we're going fast. Alright. The racing line's telling me to break very early. Considering how well Formula 1's break and steer, I don't know why it's telling me to so early. I thought it was flying past everyone. <laughs> oh dear, that was... Oh, 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 that was something I was not ready for. Going upside down all of a sudden. Oh. I'll tell you what, that was an experience if I've ever had one. Oh. Oh dear, that made me feel a little bit sick, actually. I was not expecting that. Anyway, we're back on the track. Oh, that bumpiness is not fun. Oh, am I missing a wheel or something? Is that why it's all bumpy? Oh, that's horrible. I like how there's like actual... Well, I guess my car would be totally wrecked if I did have an accident like that, but yeah, it is affecting my steering and handling as a result of the accident that I had earlier, which is kind of cool. I'm not enjoying it, but I appreciate the programming and what's being made in the game. Oops, flip the wall. I've almost caught up to them again. Oh, it's at the end of the race, that's why we've almost caught up to them. Well, we didn't come last. The person that we, um, we crushed came last. All right, let's, uh, let's find somewhere else to do our next race. Um, what we got? What are some other cool? Oh, Nuremberg. There we go. We can do the Nuremberg Grand Prix. No, I do not want to do a 15 kilometer one. Uh, eight turns. They got that one that has a nice big stretch down it. Uh, what, else, what are we going to drive this time? What have we got? Something that might actually handle well because I can't stand those things that don't steer very well. It's hard enough to drive on this game as it is, let alone with a car that doesn't handle well. Um, let's have a look. Renault, Mercedes, Toyota. What's that? A rocket bunny. Yes, let's try the rocket bunny. Let's see how that goes. Um, Alright, so how many laps? Oh no, one lap? Two laps. Two laps of the sprint. No, it's a sprint. A sprint means one lap. No, we've got two laps. Never mind. Let's go. Oh, we're on the other side of the car green, this green, time. Green. Alright, that's different. Look, we're starting in almost pole position as well. That's nice. This car is significantly slower than the last one. Let's see if that actually helps. Uh, let's get around the corner, get around the corner. There we go. I actually took that okay. I'm always surprised at myself when I actually do a corner correctly. It doesn't happen very often. We haven't got these racing lines to help and I still can't do it. Right, off we go. How far are the cars behind me? A little ways back, actually. I appreciate being able to just check the rearview mirror and see that. But just like a real car, you have to take your eyes off the road. So that's the little bit of the risk, which is really cool. Alright, off we go again. It's quite difficult to steer still, but I'm getting better at it. I'm getting better at the sensitivity. Note that corner came up a lot quicker than I was expecting. Yep, that's fair enough. I should have been paying attention to the track. But I have to look all the way up into the top left to see what turns are coming up. And that's a big like distance away from where I'm looking at driving. Lucky I've got a decent lead here. Right, we've got a big stretch. 
Nearing end of the race now, just one lap to go. Bring it back to us. Yep, I'll do what I can. Alright, so we've got a couple of hairpins coming up. That's it, get around the corner. Very nice. Do another one going the other way. Alright. Um, oh yeah, thank you to all those who are uh, who purchased some merchandise. Uh, that was a fun little thing I did in the holidays. I somehow got some mugs for very cheap, so I appreciate those of you who are interested in it. Uh, and if you've managed to make it this far into the video and are still watching, leave a comment letting me know if you are interested in some GBoss Gaming merch for whatever reason you would be interested in that, I do not know. But if you are, uh, let me know in the comments what sort of merch you'd be keen on, so I can have a bit of an idea of uh, you know, what I need to have a look into purchasing, whether it be coffee mugs again, which were reasonably cheap, or if we want to get t-shirts, which are going to be far more expensive to get made, especially in low quantities that's going to be happening for us. P2 is seven seconds behind. Great job. Keep oh, pushing. Seven seconds in front. That's pretty good. Look, I even stopped for that corner this time. Look at me go. Maybe I just need the slower cars and I can drive better. Because I drive a slow car regularly, I'm more accustomed to how they handle. Look at that, we came first. We've gone last, second last, and up the first by a long way. How about that? Fantastic. Well, I might end this video here. Primarily because I've spent the last hour driving regardless, trying to get the game to work and a decent sound. If it's not perfect, I'm sorry, but I'm not spending any more time on this. I've already wasted enough of my Tuesday afternoon trying to figure it out. But um, yeah, if you stuck through it, thanks for watching. Bye for now.